Inconsistency is the only constant on this three-day tour. More bad weather rolls into the countryside, which has caused for some interesting decisions on what to hunt and when. Brad and I hunt on a migration day full of change. Tension rises by the minute as the ducks stay one step ahead of us and make us look like fools. The weather finally breaks and normalcy returns to the Ongaro Lodge as we finish the group off in fine form. I'm Claudio Ongaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. They're about a half mile away from where they were this morning, but they're in the right field which is surprising for how it's been going. So that is good. Now we'll just get an idea if there's some ducks in that mess. Lots of snows. I don't know how many snow geese that is, but it's about as many snow geese as I would see third week in October, and it's third week in September, so. Good for today for the hunt, but not good for our situation way too far ahead, so. Ah, there's a few ducks. There's a few ducks. It's definitely a good snow goose hunt with speckle bellies. Probably target the snows, but definitely would like to get a limited ducks out of there, but I don't know how many ducks are in there. There's some in the puddle, but when you're dealing with that many snow geese, a thousand ducks can get lost in there pretty quick, so. Definitely it's a hunt, so. As it stands right now, our target is good. We'll let the guys know. So far, so good. Hang on. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good, how are you? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, how are you? Oh, I'm just pulling into the driveway. Oh, okay. That's, how's the hunt looking? It's looking real good for geese right now. The ducks aren't here yet. If the ducks don't come here, do we want to start with a big snow of Palooza with speck of Palooza in the morning? This is I can hunt. I can hunt this in the afternoon though, because they go back to where we where we where we get out for duck. What's that? Well, I, I can hunt if this if these all come together here for sure. How many ducks are you talking that were there? A couple thousand maybe. That I can okay. see there could be more. There could be more on the ground. A big gob of geese. To put a number I don't 10K. know. More. 10K? More. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Not a lot of gray well, ones, but You know what? I just put that in the text. You know, ready to hunt, we'll come up with a plan. Okay, sounds good. Okay, bye. Alright. Bye. Well that was quick. <laughs> oh. However he wants to play it, I'm good with. It's a big hunt. I can hunt in the morning, I can hunt in the afternoon. I'm easy. That's that. I even had a driver this time. <laughs> well, the starter went in the bus. Imagine that. So we rented this van and we're here. We made it. New group of guys, and of course, this weather is not good. I, I mean, it says snow for tomorrow from what my forecast said. The guys are saying it might clear up, but I mean, I don't know. Oh well, time to go spotting, I guess. See what this week brings. It's always an adventure. 25 years, and there's never been two days the same. Pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Yeah, mine are all gone too, buddy. Mine have, been, mine have been gone for about 10 minutes. Yeah, same here. And uh, Mel's are gone too. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So, you and me or you and Mel? <laughs> I'm in the field, hey? Why didn't you want to go? 
He was a little worried because his birds left a little early. I told him mine were leaving at the same time. You know how it is. Just like you just phoned, yeah. right? You're like, is everyone's birds leaving? Is everyone's birds leaving? <laughs> Well, they trailed right. slow. It wasn't yeah. like they just all got up and left. Yeah, but it's comforting to know all of our birds left at the same time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Right on. Well, cool. Just well, check. All right, buddy. See you back. Okay. All bye. right, take care. Bye. So Daryl's good to go. And either me or Mel. So, fairly painless night. So, I picked my spot. We got some bales. We got an open spot here, northwest wind. So, Snow goose spread, I need some room to put out probably 800 decoys or something. We're gonna talk maybe just in the meeting to see if Mel feels that he wants to get his done. I have no problem coming in here in the afternoon. So we're good to go. We haven't been really good to go a lot this season. We've been scrambling a lot. We're good to go right now. We got some hunts and we're looking good for the morning. So we'll see how it plays out. Well, we're getting Claudio set up. This is one of Brad's hunts. We brought him in. Yeah, Brad scouted this out yesterday. It's real solid. He's got my guys from this morning, so they need their ducks and uh, 24 geese or something. So, got a good chance at it. It's been an interesting mix of events this morning. Dill ended up with not all of his ducks, about half and I think one goose, and then Mel ended up with about 14 geese and one duck. Just the way that things laid out today, I ended up hunting Brad's hunt, and Brad's hunting his other hunt, and then it's just a big mess, but <laughs> that's the way it is. So of course, I'm just trying to figure out where to sit in the field. Brad's taking off, and we got lots of sign, and I'll just play the wind, and we should be all right. So, time to get at it, though. Yeah, there's some ducks out there. Here you go, guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get ready, boys. Get ready, get ready. There's going to be 12 o'clock. As soon as I open the doors, they'll be over the roll bowl. Right away. Hold tight, hold tight. Ready? Roll them, roll them, roll them. Ooh. Ow. That one got busted. <laughs> Can you see that one? That was about four yards off someone's barrel. It just went poof. They're okay, down. I gotta call them a little sooner. Yeah. <laughs> I'll move the robo ducks back a little bit. They were right on the <laughs> I see it, I see it. <laughs> Get ready, guys. <laughs> drill them, drill them, drill them. Left side, left side, drill them. Get him, Roger. Get him. Watch your camera, guy. Watch your camera, man. Shoot again, you jump. Oh, nice. Oh, good shot. Job. Wait till he cleared the camera. <laughs> yeah, good thing. Ah! He came in real low. Well. You ready, guys? Drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him right. Now. That's better. Much better. Nice shooting, boys. Well, it's, it was a hunt of specks, honkers, little Canadas, and ducks. But the uh, other guys hunting in the area, we've got a whole bunch of white ones showed up, which they're what we call shrapnel from another hunt. So you don't ever want to try and hunt them because they're more than likely not going to be here tomorrow. So as you can see, they're in two groups. There's one group closer to us. And there's one group way down with the whites. I'm trying to figure out which group I want to hunt. Most of the darks were down where the whites are this morning. But when the whites moved in, they kind of left. Guess they didn't like their neighbors. If some of them come back, it should be a good hunt. If they decide not to come back, it's going to be a long morning. Got four low ones, really low. Hold tight, you ready? You ready? Hold, hold. Four counters right up front. Ready? 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 Kill them, boys. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Get them all. Yeah. And then what? You guys just decided to quit shooting. Said, oh, oh, that's good. That was a good round. Let's not. Let's not bother shooting anymore. That was on a safety. Wait, was it? 
Mine was. So get ready. Yeah. Get ready means get. Oh, up front, up front, guys, up front, up front. Get ready, guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna fall right in this hole right here. We're gonna go below the hook. You ready? Get ready. Drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him! Nothing? Nothing. The four honks in the decoys we should have shot, too. Yeah. Where, what? Yeah. Four honks right in the decoys. Oh, I didn't see those. Did you what? see them? No! Well, why didn't you shoot those? Why didn't you say something? You're the guy. I You're can't see the anything! You call the shot. So why didn't you shoot at him? I called the shot. If I you'd have screwed, I'd have screwed you. No! Yeah. These guys are killing me. These, wow, those are killable. You should have killed six of those. Yeah, yeah, those should have been all dead. Those snow geese just come in, they weren't there. Oh, okay, well. Uh, Most of the darks are gone. I get it, but I just talked to Brad. Yeah. He's good, he's good if we want to put him in. Wherever. All right, it don't matter to me. And you can put this one to bed, and that way it makes more sense to me. I, I can help you do this one. That's not a big deal. Give me your pin, because Claudio has my spare one. Well, I'm, I'm glad you went for a cruise. Otherwise, we'd have, we could have been in trouble. I don't, because Daryl, he's he's checking out that honker hunt, but I haven't heard from him. So, well, it's been quite a night, man. We got it done again. I don't know how, but. Jeff's gonna pin this one and pin the other one, and then whoever's hunting, it's all cool. But hopefully, he Here's can pin us. pin the other one with his phone as well. Good. So interesting. Uh, Bunch of ducks on this hunt. We ended up with 19 geese, 14 ducks. The few ducks that did it, did it good. I don't know, like I didn't spot the hunt, but I mean, Brad and Jeff spotted it. I mean, it, you know, and they've been watching and talking about this hunt for, for days. And they said the birds were roosting over there. So they either sat there and fed all night or they just didn't come out to the party and are just going straight back to roost because they're coming off that, that water right now. That's the way it goes though. Been, uh, we've been battling with this all season so far. Just hunt after hunt. We just can't seem to get one step ahead of the birds. They're just making us look like dummies this year. Yeah, Jeff pinned this hunt for me last night. He's hunting another hunt south. I was hunting last night, so I didn't watch it. Jeff kind of watched it, Jeff and Mel. It was kind of one of those deals where the hunts are kind of one-sided in one area right now. So Jeff was busy last night, kind of watching this, watching that. He pulled Mel up to help. And uh, yeah, he pinned it for me last night. And uh, it's pretty much where I saw the birds yesterday. So that's good. We got my big foot decoys trying to target target the honkers. This is kind of where they were feeding, Jeff said. And uh, the ducks, got some spec FFDs out. Hopefully we can uh, get a few of those. and. Uh, the big bush set up, the boys have made it look real good, so we should be concealed. As long as the birds come and do it, we're in business. We'll see how it goes, should be good. Tension is high. These ducks are beating us up right now. Oh yeah, there's some in there, right in the cattails. There'll be lots of ducks in there. All right, so this this entire week has been a mess. I mean, it's been cold front after cold front after cold front. Birds are pushing through, more birds coming in, more birds leaving. The inconsistency is the only consistent thing that we have, is the inconsistency. Now, this pond, and I call this the lost pond, filling in on that another time, but, um, it's the only place that I've seen ducks hit 
three times in a row now. So lots of ducks, like, I don't know, three or 4,000. So, so good volume. Hopefully we can get them and, and, you know, kind of break this whole inconsistency thing that's been going on. Be nice, I could use just an easy no-brainer duck hunt for a change, you know? We're just burning up duck hunts faster than we can, we can find them, so just, just, we can't get one step ahead of these birds, it seems, right now. Yeah, we've been here a while. We, uh, I think we got uh, six ducks and one goose. A little bit of a rough one this morning. <sighs> Tell you one thing, when your fellow guides phone you the night before, they tell you they have a hunt for you in the morning, you can get the double hunt, don't take it. Mel, Jeff, no, it's just rough. Hey, buddy. Hey, Brad. How goes it? Now, we got it sorted here. Finally. Yeah, right on. It took a while. It took a while. And it sounds like you took one on the chin this morning. Yeah, we took our lumps this morning. Oh my god. Yeah, seems to be a theme lately with the ducks. Yeah. So. Yeah. I know. I'm on the water tonight. They are at least going to the puddles, so I guess if we're on the, on the puddles. Yeah. We're going to need, uh, they have waders though? Um, do you, do, you, do you guys have waders? Do you guys have waders with you? Yeah. Waders? Ron? No. We'll, we'll, we'll get Ron set up. We'll get Ron set up. Perfect. All right, it's, well, it's we're just... going to be a tough drive, but we'll get them there. Okay. All right, well, we'll clean up here. We're almost unpacked up, and we'll uh, we'll be heading in. All right. Yeah, get them back. All right, so you guys are hunting with Claudio tonight. All right. Sounds good, bud. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so the north side right here, there's a little peninsula that goes through, you see it right there? I'm gonna kick out the birds, see the biggest concentration of birds, uh -huh. and that's where we'll set up, or the area with the biggest amount of area. But we don't want you to spread out too far, because the shooting's gonna be contained over the robo duck, right? Oh, she's ducks here. Oh, yeah, four of them right there. Four of them. So yeah, if we were in there. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna ease up, and we're gonna kick a bunch of these ducks out. Yeah, there's a few in there. We figured there's about 200. 200 to 2,000. <laughs> 200 to 5,000. There's a bunch of them right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're coming around. There they are. They sure are. This could be a 20 minute hunt. Right? This is one of those 20 minute hunts. I've had them before. It's awesome. It is. I mean, now we just have to hope they come back. I mean, this is their spot they love. I'm, assume, I'm assuming they will. But. Well, the way they've been acting. Yeah. All right. We got in here with the hunters and. I knew there'd be ducks here, and I really thought the big show was at the far end. And then I get here, and, and right behind me where I'm standing, there's a big swath of mud flat, and there's just kind of a constant flow, kind of like blood through veins, where they kind of swim along, come out, feed, walk back down, swim to the far end, and just constantly flow. And I've seen that one other time before. So I'm just gonna throw out your classic setup, two pods of decoys, RoboDoc, we're gonna put the guys in the cattails, sit them on buckets, they're probably six, seven foot, eight foot cattails. Hopefully the birds line up, shoot them in the face, and that'll be that. Be good. Well, 25 years. It's unfortunate, but this is probably the worst two hunts back to back these guys have ever had. They shot one goose and six ducks this morning they shot six tonight just brutal and i mean big volume of ducks here i don't know man i can't put my finger on this is not a roost and they're coming in here at dark like it is a roost ducks going out to feed now and i mean i get it you know this morning they fed late and it started late but by 6 30 it should have been rolling here you know funny thing was last night they did the same thing. They came in right at dark. Uh, I think we were out there with Brad, and uh, 
they all came in late. He went to get the truck and he said, just sit out here for another 15 minutes or 10 minutes, I'm gonna go get the truck. And sure enough, they started just pile driving in, pile driving in, right at, right at dark, just like this. And we counted right to the last minute of the light, 30 minutes after sunset, so we could get the last few shots in. But yeah, it's kind of odd, they never, they never do that. Every, all the years past I've been here, they never do that, but this weather, it's still flying right now. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? It's been a, it's been a crazy season, a crazy week, and, and I hope it gets better because it's gonna be a long seven weeks left. You know, it's it's crazy. Two weeks in, and it and we're not having fun. We're not having fun. It went great, really great. A lot of specs, a lot of ducks, a lot of mallards, a lot of misses, a lot of heads. <laughs> a little redemption Four, from a couple of rough days. Finally oiled machine this morning. We were dialed well, in, eh? Way we were dialed in. Yeah. Boy, we worked good together too, man. We put it up quick. Put it up quick. Lots of decoys out this morning, probably a thousand. Yeah. Some clove decoys, robos, and that bush looks beautiful this morning. Egg right here. Yes, man, that was a that was a hunt right there. These guys oh, knocked it out man. of the park, man. That was man, great. That was good. They came in, yeah, perfect. Well, it's we perfect. threw all our eggs in one basket. Yeah, and, and God worked. smiled on us. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a roll of the dice. Well, I'm glad this went this way because I wouldn't have given this hunt up for something. No, that's always a good fight. Good, I'm glad. Well, that one was awesome. Everything did it exactly the way they're supposed to. The weather changed and it worked. Finally, finally. Finally now I have a nice, a nice bunch of birds to clean. Well, I'll tell you what, we just came off the toughest two days we've ever had. Yesterday was the toughest day one group has ever had and, and I know I'm usually saying oh man we're breaking records we did it we did it again we rocked it yesterday was not the case it was just horrible great group of guys been here before totally understanding this morning we went out the sun was out you know Mel and Brad rocked it the birds cooperated and I'm just hoping we're back on track to just clear sailing from here to the end and and let's rock it we just hunters are happy there's 132 birds on the photo deck, life's good again. <laughs>